Hello from Balestrand. When I started this vlog, it was raining, and now I'm so happy because the sun is back in Balestrand. Uh, and yes, I did mention in some vlogs it's quite raining here uh, mostly, but I really love it. That's why I spent my last two summers in Balestrand. Balestrand is a small village located in the western part of Norway with a population around 1,200 people but 46 different nationalities. Hi, I'm from Turkey. I'm from Eritrea. Balestrand stands where the mountains meet the fjord in Norway's largest fjord called Sangli Fjord, which is also the second longest in the world. Having high mountains with amazing views so close by, it cannot come as a surprise to anyone that hiking is the main activity here. Even though my favorite hike is Svetutan because of its stunning view above two fjords, I would recommend Rodmelon because it's closer, easier and shorter. Hiking to the top of Rodmelon should take around 3 hours or 5 in case you want to bring a drone as I did. What I really love about Rodmelon is that it has a small cabin at the top which is waiting for you. So there we go. This is Bali, the cabin which is open for everyone and it has everything in case you want to stay overnight. Furthermore, this cabin is free to use, you don't need to pay anything. You can just sleep while you're watching the fjords and wake up with the best sunrise you'll ever see. I don't know any booking system for this, but if you reach it and it's empty, then just enjoy it. In case you're not passionate about hiking, don't worry, there are many attractions waiting for you in the heart of Balestrand. Start from downtown, visiting the Sangli Fjord Aquarium, which has included in the price also the rent of a boat or a canoe, whichever one suits you. Close by, the historical building of Fitness Hotel, built in 1913, will make you feel like in a museum. After that, if you keep walking beside the fjord, you will find the English church St. Olaf's, which was an inspiration for the Disney film Frozen. The next stop is the beach, with nice sand and warmer water in case you don't want to jump direct to the fjord. Along the fjord, you will find the statue of King Bale and beautiful Norwegian villas surrounded by dragons. If you like museums, then go and check the Norwegian Museum of Travel and Tourism. Last but not the least, you should book a cider tasting on Cider House. They are making one of the best ciders of Norway, they have a shop where you can buy alcohol up to 22% and they also own a restaurant with a mix of Norwegian and Turkish food. Furthermore, they offer cooking classes, so make sure you don't skip this place. If you are not satisfied with renting a boat or a canoe for one hour, then you can rent a kayak for one day, which is going to be 10 times more expensive. Or you can go fishing or watching a movie, Palestrand has even cinema.
well known as an expensive country, Norway, has also cheaper options, so I'll start with that. You can go camping, but regarding the weather, I'll not recommend it. A room with Airbnb or a small cabin will cost you at least 45 euros per person. A regular room with breakfast included, it costs between 90 to 150 euros and if you want something exclusive a room in Kvignes hotel will cost you at least 220 euros i think it's not obviously but since i was born in a village and i had i was surrounded by mountains and forest i'm not such a big fan of nature i am more excited if i need to uh, travel and uh, visit the city but since i came to this place to Balistran I really fall in love with so I love it so much I really like the nature here and I'm extremely impressed and you might wonder why people are coming to visit Balestrand. the reason is that actually Balestrand is very well known as a tourist let's say touristical place since back in the days when painters were coming here to paint these beautiful mountains and fjords and so on and since then more and more artists were interested to come here and get inspired and even nowadays uh, there are lots of artists living in here and I do plan to come back here next summer so if I will be here please visit me it's a wonderful uh, occasion closest place or airport it's Bergen and then from Bergen you need to take the ferry direct to Palestrand which is the best ferry trip I ever done or you can fly to Oslo and take a bus for eight hours which is actually cheaper or if you fly to Oslo, the best route is to take the bus to Flom because uh, Flom is another very beautiful village uh, close by a very very beautiful waterfall so you need to go and visit that place uh, so you can take the train actually, not the bus, sorry you can take the train to Flom and then from Flom you can just take the bus to Balestra so that would be a very very good route mm. And yes, what is next? So after this summer jobs, like I mentioned in my one of my vlogs, I'm going to travel the last of the year. So I want to be a full-time traveler. Where I'm not sure yet. I just know that I'm going to UK and Italy and Serbia in the next two months. And afterwards I'm going to try work away if you don't know the concept don't worry about it because i'm going to dedicate a vlog only about this work away idea so i think i will start uh, um, i think i'll start in porto in portugal and then i'm not sure what's the next country because i'm also following a lot of tips and a lot of like uh, sales and super offers so if i'll find like a cheap flight to Machu Picchu for example I will just book it immediately and I'll just leave if you want to find out more tips and if you want to follow my crazy and spontaneous trips then you should definitely consider subscribing thanks for watching